All right, what's going on everyone? Today's the 8th of September 2024. We're going to talk about Ethereum and give you all this particular pattern off of this chart right now that says it changes everything in terms of looking for the market to go up. So let me break this down. Give me a couple of minutes. And while you're at it, if you guys see the things that I'm talking about, the things that I'm showing you, if it's very important or you find of interest, then make sure that you go ahead and hit the like button. Should have been also subscribe here for more of this content. All right. So real quick, there is a price prediction already off of this chart that we produced for Ethereum, taking it all the way back to like the 20th of August. And it was at that moment that I was like, yes, I'm not looking for price to go up in Ethereum. In fact, I'm looking for the price to go down. And that is precisely what the market did. You guys can see that if I extend this prediction over, the market hit our ultimate TP price on the 6th of September, so two days ago. So go back and look at the prior video of us dropping this price prediction and seeing it come to fruition today. That is 13 and a quarter percent here. So pretty good call, excellent. But let's see what's going on into the market now in Ethereum because the market here in Ethereum did not hold the buy zone that we created back on August the 20th. The buyers didn't show up. So we can actually get rid of that. So let's do that. Now you can see here from two days ago, September the 6th, hey, Hold up. Buyers are actually here in the market in Ethereum trying to keep the price propped up. That is a pretty good sign for the moment. They did it all the way back here on August the 5th. So the buyers who saw price in Ethereum being cheap on August the 5th, they're like, man, I got another opportunity to buy Ethereum at $2,200. Let me grab my wallet and let me get my crypto wallet together so I could buy more Ethereum because that's why the volume is high on September the 6th just like it was on August the 5th now that's all cool but will it last that's the question can this last do you think the buyers have enough money in Ethereum to keep the market from falling below this buy zone because if not then like we do on this particular channel we need to think further out where would be the next level for the market to go if the buyers aren't going to hold that buy zone? So let's see the market in Ethereum on the monthly chart first. OK, so now we're looking at Ethereum on the monthly chart. We are seeing this trend line. Maybe the price is going to come to this trend. That's probable. That's possible. It's not out the realm of possibility. I mean, when you look at it, we are only what? 15, almost 18 percent away from testing this trend line. That's very doable in the cryptocurrency market. It is on the five weeks. Look what happened on the last five weeks, though. Look at that bar. The only thing that I would say that makes it not truly negative is the fact that the market closed off of the lows. If we would have seen the price in Ethereum close on the low of that bar, then definitely I'd be looking for the market to go lower. So I can't really say that yet. Not yet. So here it is on the three weeks. We have eight hours and seven minutes left. So now let me break this down bar by bar. Okay. This three weekly price bar is an indication that buyers actually came through. Cool. I like to see that if I'm looking for price to go up, right? But now here it is on this current three weekly price bar and the market is still going down. So that is a failed test of the buyers. In the next eight hours and seven minutes, if the market in Ethereum closes here on the low, then what happened on the prior three weeks? It wasn't real. The buyers wasn't able to sustain the buying. The sellers are still dominating the price here in the market. Okay, I'm just giving you the, what I'm seeing on the charts. And given what we have, even though we got eight hours left, I'm, I'm still kind of looking side eyed at these buyers in this zone. I don't think that they're really determined yet. Here is Ethereum on the two weeks. Again, eight hours left. But however, even though we have eight hours, I'm recording the video right now and you guys can see it. Look at this. We got the sell already being triggered. It's already being triggered. We also can see the pussy go down bar being triggered. So it's giving us advanced notice, advanced warning. Hey, 
to the people who think Ethereum is a buy right now, right now it looks like it's not. But take this with a grain of salt because currently we still have eight hours left. So this market, this bar can look completely different in the next eight hours. But going with what we see here, I will have to say that price in Ethereum is still weak. And that the buyers into this market is going to have to open up their wallets again to see if they want to support this price. Let's look at this on the weekly chart. Here it is. Even on the prior week, we got the sell signal trigger into the market. So we can't act like we're surprised that price in Ethereum is trending lower today. I cannot emphasize enough how important it's going to be for us to see these buyers hold this market here. Outside of that, I'm looking for the price to go down in Ethereum. Here it is on the five. Ethereum on the four. Okay. Ethereum on the three. Ethereum on the two. And Ethereum on the one. So, outside of this, I'm looking for price in Ethereum to trend to the downside. We're going to create another sell zone right around here for Ethereum. And we're going to create a price prediction. Still looking for the market to go down. Now, the only thing that would eliminate the prospect of Ethereum going down, I'm telling you this now, is the buyers. Okay. I see that. I want you all to see it too. This will be the only thing that will stop us from not seeing a bigger move to the downside. Okay. So that's going to have to be one of our targets. Okay. I'm, I'm not trying to make us crazy and think that the market's going to completely crash when we see this massive zone of buyers right here. So we may need to just take some of this off the table as we anticipate that occurring. Okay. So that will be a target of about, hold on, let me fix that. That would be a target of about either at the high of this buy zone, 3.3%. Okay. And the, the, hey, that's might all we will be able to get out this move, especially if the buyers still show up. Or it could touch at the low, six and a quarter percent. So one of those two targets there. And then outside of that, let's see what we can do. Our next target would be, I'm taking it like to like $2,000, which is another 11.82% move to the downside. I won't be surprised to see it come down to this trend line though. So I'll extend it down that low and that's it. I'm done. You guys are up next. Hey, like I said, if you guys appreciate the content that you're not going to get anywhere else, just strictly looking at the price action giving us advance and notice as to what's probable to go down in the cryptocurrency streets. You need to keep it locked in here. All right. So give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain profit. And as always, trade different.